I don't know your answer. I don't know the answer, but I do know my answer. <laughs> you might be wondering, was there even a question asked? Yes, there was. The question is how. The question is how can you do something you don't know how to do? We sometimes go through life thinking there's only one answer to your happiness, to discovering who you are, to even understanding yourself. And there just isn't. Life is complex. It is fun. It's scary. It's exciting. And it's your adventure you get to unfold. I hope that by sharing with you my answer to how I learned to do something will help you discover your own answer to your question of how. One morning, I was sitting on the couch, enjoying my cup of tea while watching the kitchen. And Sunny Anderson, who's one of the co-hosts, happened to be on and demonstrating how to poach an egg. I remember looking at my husband and telling him, I've always wanted to try to do that. And he just looks at me. You say that every time. Uh, yeah, he's right. <laughs> I do. I say that every time. And it dawned on me. I've been saying this for years. Years. So what does it take to poach an egg? It takes a pot, some water, and an egg. I've got all three of those things, so why has it taken me so long to try to do this? This triggered a bunch of thoughts in my brain, and I started to think about everything else that I've been wanting to do that were simple, that I could have done already, and I just haven't gone around to it. And there it was. Ding! <laughs> I had a light bulb. I looked at my husband, and I said... I'm going to do 30 new things in 30 days and post it live while experiencing that. And he just says, that sounds great. Let's do this. So with that said, I created a list. I made a list of everything and anything I wanted to do, try, smell, uh, even just the skills I wanted to try, everything and anything that came to mind, a thought that was explored, I wrote down. Before I knew it, I had over a hundred items on this list and decided, okay, what's the first 30 things I'm going to do? June 29th was the very first day of shooting. I decided to poach an egg as a first challenge because that's what kind of got this train rolling, right? I remember feeling so nervous during that day. And I wondered, why am I nervous? It's just an egg. I mean, really, it's just an egg. I put all this pressure on myself, how badly I wanted the very first time I tried this to come out perfect. And therefore, I can proclaim myself as this egg poaching prodigy. But yet... I fell short and that's okay. I fell short a second time, a third, a fourth, fifth, and sixth. You don't have to be an expert. Nobody starts as one and you don't have to be one either. That's the beauty of this process. You just start. That truly is all there is to it. You just start. After the first 30 days was over, I remember reflecting back, even beyond the 30 days, like a, a few years ago, and recalled all the getting caught up in watching YouTube videos, listening to podcasts, and reading books on mental awareness, mindset, and even motivation. I was trying to figure out how to change who I am versus just doing it. Don't get me wrong. Attaining knowledge is important. Reading is important. 
But it's when you don't do anything with that knowledge is where everything falls short. You see, knowledge by itself is not power. The power comes from the doing, not the preparing. Even though I knew this, it took me a while to be a believer. I just, I got caught up in analysis paralysis. I kept thinking the more information I attain, the better I will be once I start to try. Did you hear where the problem was? I kept saying, once I start to try. I didn't even say, once I start to do. Trying is not anything. I mean, Yoda had it right. There is no try, only do. <laughs> and because I kept saying that, I never got around to it until I went ahead and just started doing things. Sometimes the best way to do anything is just to do it. You should really give this a try. Number one, write down your list of all the things you want to do and are interested in or even curious about. Second, choose the easiest thing on that list that you can do today. You want to start creating a habit. And number three, you are going to start crossing things off that list because the more you do, the more you are able to do. And because you start to challenge yourself and living up to those challenges, you will realize how quickly addicting that becomes. Let me tell you something. You will never feel 100% prepared for anything. You just have to go through the motion. Take in that deep breath. Look straight into that camera and say, hello world. My name is Maria Sanchez and I am here to inspire you to do something new. Let's get going.